In this video we're going to see the new release of the Bricks Builder. This is the version 1.5 which is currently in the beta version and we're going specific to talk about the section and the div elements. Hi, my name is Stratos and I'm constantly producing video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I was waiting for this update. I had some problems using the container element and we're going to see some problems that I ran into. And of course, we're going later on to see how the section and the developments are going to solve those issues. If you want to check out the change log, you will see the link in the description below. You can visit the page and read about it. This uh, update is a full update. It doesn't have only the section and the developments. This is only just a part of that. But this video is specific for that because I think that it will help uh, more people in the workflow and how they should use the section and the developments. This is the website that we're going to play with. If we go into the bricks, we're going to see that it has the version 1.4.0.2 and this of course is the latest stable version. And this is a clean installation, so let's visit the page. We're going to see that it's blank, it doesn't have anything. I'm going here first into the pages, all pages. Let's start by creating a new page. Home publish publish and then let's go close that let's go into the settings reading i'm going to set that as a home page okay and now if i refresh here i will see the home page which is blank of course let's go now into the page and let's start editing that and let's go and edit that. Of course, if you are going to start building a website, you should go first into the template and create a header and a footer. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to see some problems that had with the uh, container element. So what you had to do uh, when creating a website, you had to go into here, into in every page and select here. And this will add a container inside here. Now, if you want to create a section, the first thing that you should do is add a container and there inside there, you should add another container. The logic behind this is that the first container, the root container, would go full width so it can go and take a background if you want or something else. And the second container will take the width that you have set in the settings. So let's first start with no container inside the container. Let's start with one container. And I'm going to click the plus and I'm going to add a heading. So I'm going to leave it as, as you can see in the left and I'm going to save it as it is, heading. Let's go now and refresh. Okay, as you can see, this, he this heading is inside the width that we want. But if I go and add a background here into this container and let's go and change the style and let's go to background and change a color and let's go for yellow. Save. And let's go back here and refresh. So as you can see, this is not across the full width of the website. If I go now into the container and select the content and select to stretch, you will see that also the heading is going to stretch. And this is why we had to use two containers. So I'm going to add here another container. And I'm going to put the heading underneath that and inside, of course, and now as you can see, this container is stretched. I'm going to put that as center. So I want the container inside the second one to be in the center of this container stretched. And this is the center, not this one. And now I'm going to set for this container a different background. Let's go and let's go into, sorry, that container and let's change the style and background to a different color. Let's save that. And now let's refresh here. And as you can see, this is how it should work. And this is how you create those two containers in order to create the section that you want. Now let's do something else. I'm going to add another container here. And let's put that outside those. So this is one container and I want that to include three new containers, three divs, three columns. So in order to do that, I have to create first another container this container is for the width and then inside here I'm going to add the three divs, the three containers. So I'm going to do something like that and this is how you should do the three columns. So let's go into the content and let's change that to horizontal. So now we have the three columns. This is the container that plays the role for the whole row, the section. This is the container that grabs the width and then we have the three columns here. 
So again, I have to go here. I have to go and select the stretch. I have to go and select the center. And then I have to go into every container and add all the things that I want. Now let's go into here, into this container, which is the first column. And I want to create something like an icon and then a text. So in order to do that, I'm going to create an icon. Let's add an icon. And then next to that, let's add a text. If I want to put those two uh, one next to the other, I have to go, of course, into the container and put them as horizontal, like this. Now, let's say that we want to create something like uh, contact information. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to select here a telephone number. And this is, I think, into the font some solid, no regular. Phone. Yeah, this is it. So I'm going to use something like that. And I'm going to change that to 25. And here I'm going to change that to a telephone number. So next to that, I would like also to set something for the address. So what I need now to do is uh, wrap those two inside a container, inside a div actually, but uh, we're using the container element. So what I need to do is go into the icon and select the wrap container and then go and grab the rich text and put that after that. So I have here something like that. I'm going back into the container. This is the column and I'm going to set that as vertical. And then I'm going back into this container and I'm going to set that as horizontal. You're going to see later on why I did that. So now I have this, as you can see, this is the icon and the rich text. Now I'm going to duplicate that. And here in the icon, I'm going to select that to be a map. Something like that. And for the address, let's go for the text. And I'm going to change that to Athens. So now I have something like that. Now I want to put that one next to the other. What I'm going to do is go into the div, of course. This is the column. And I'm going to select horizontal once again. As you can see, these two are taking the full width of the div. So this container, it takes the 50% of the width that is inside. It's not taking the width of the elements that has inside that container. It's taking the available space that it has in the parent container. So in order to put those divs one next to the other, but closer, I have to go into this container and I have to go into the style and then select for the width layout. And let's go to width and change that to auto and then go again into this container and change that to auto again in order to have only the width of the elements that they are inside. Of course, now I should go into this container and select something for the right margin. Let's go and put here 10. The width auto is something that you should do every time you want to put two containers, one next to the other, without taking automatically the full width of the row or 50% or whatever space they can do. There's no easy way to do that. Of course, I could create a class and I could create a something like width auto. And then I was going to put every container to has that class. But this is something that I was, uh, I didn't want to do. I didn't want to go into every div, every container that plays the role of the div that I was going to create and add the class just specific for that. And the last problem that I had is into the section, you have to go every time that you create a section, of course, it's a container, but plays a role of section. You have to go into the style and select that to have a margin in right and left, because if you don't do that, if I go and select that to be mobile, you will see that everything is touching the left side of the website and you don't want that. So the solution was actually going into here, select the first container, which is the section, go into the padding and go into the right and put here something like 20 and left 20. You don't see any changes here, but if you go and select that to be mobile view, you will see now that it has a little bit of space and this is what you want in the mobile view. Now you can also fix that if you create a class and name that as a section or something, and then go into that class and select the padding to be always 20 and 20, and then go into every container that plays the role of a section and add that class. But of course, this should be easier. Now, there are some other problems as well, but they're not so important. I think that those three problems were the most important ones for me. And this is all the things that is solved by the section.
So what I'm going to do now is update to the new version. So let's go into, sorry, let's close that. And let's go here into the themes. And I'm going to update that to the new beta version. Of course, you shouldn't do that in a live website, only this is for test purposes. Replace, and of course, if you have something, even if it's a test website and you have something important and you want to keep, always back up before doing anything like that. So let's go now into the themes page and let's see that it has the version 1.5 beta. Yeah, this is it. So we can go back into the pages, all pages. And let's edit with bricks. I'm not going to convert anything into the div and into the new section. Now let's first delete that. And let's save that as it is now. Let's go and refresh here. Okay, so now I just want to uh, set that as a desktop and add here a section. Now that I have a section, as you can see, it has a section and it has the container. This section is the first uh, div, the first element that it's grabbed the full width of the website and you can add backgrounds inside there. And this container plays the role that it's control the width of the content inside your pages. So without doing anything else, I'm going into the section and I'm going to change. I'm not going to change anything here. Let's go into the style. Let's go into the background and let's change that to something like blue. And as you can see, this took the full width of the website. If I go refresh and refresh here, I will see nothing, of course, because I don't have any element inside. So let's add an element inside here. Let's add a heading and put that inside the container. If I can, okay. And let's save that and refresh here. So now we have that structure. Of course, if I go and select the mobile view, you will see how it is. So what I need to do now is go into the, again, desktop view, and I need to go into the settings. Now I have different default settings for the section and the div, and this is great. So I can go into the theme style. I can create a new theme style. Let's add that as a test, create, and then go into the element section and put here the padding to be 20 and 20. And now if I go and select that to be a mobile view, you can see that it has some space here. So uh, I also like how Oxygen is controlling the section and it has some padding 75 and 75 in top and bottom. And I do like that, so I'm going to set that as well here. And this solved the problem with the section classes that I had to create every time and add that in every container that I had as a section. Let's go now into the div and I'm going to select the width instead of 100 to be auto. And I'm going to save that. And also in order for that to work everywhere, I had to go into the condition and select the condition to be in the entire website. Okay, let's save that. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did into the previous version. So I'm going to add an element. I'm going to add a section. And as you can see, every time you add a section, no matter what you are, you will have a section that it's going to go into the root. I had real problem into adding a container every time underneath another container into root elements. So now that we have sections, the section will only work as a root element. As you can see, it has the padding that I have set and inside the container, I'm going to add three divs now. So let's go and add div, div and a div, and then select the container and select the content to be horizontal. So I have three columns inside here. Now I cannot really see the spaces between those three because I have set the divs to be again uh, automatically. So it, every div here doesn't have any padding inside here. Now, Oxygen has a really cool thing inside the uh, editor. It adds 75, I think, pixels of padding inside the editor, inside every div, in order for you to be able to select the that div inside the editor and then go and add some stuff inside there. Uh, here, as you can see, I cannot do that because the default value was uh, 100% and I set that as auto because I do like the auto first. So what I have to do is go into that div and I have of course to go into the style and select for the layout for the width to be 33% of the row. The same would go for here and of course if I was going to create some columns I would create some classes but here doesn't matter. Let's go and add here 33% 
and now we have those three columns. Inside here, I'm going to add another div. And inside here, of course, I'm going to add an icon and then a text. So let's go for icon and let's also go for a text. Rich text, doesn't matter. Okay, for the icon, I'm going to select for the content. Let's change that to a solid and let's go for a phone. I'm going to create exactly the same thing. And let's go also and change that to something like numbers. So this is the telephone number. Okay, let's switch that to 20 pixels or 25. And I think I set it as, yeah, I have set it as uh, a phone, as you can see, but it doesn't grab uh, the icon. This is a bug. Of course, this is a beta version, so we would expect some bugs. And now into the div, I have to go and select that to be horizontal. Now I need to go and duplicate that. As you can see, I don't have any more the dots that I had here. So I have to right click it and select duplicate here. And now I have one underneath the other. And if I go into the column div, I can go and select that to be horizontal. And as you can see, that goes one next to the other with no spaces. And this is how I wanted that to work. So if you are used to work with Oxygen, you would really like this uh, update because it's very close to Oxygen and you can set, of course, the padding and the mar margin as you like. And of course, since now we have sections and we have divs, this is something that it will also show inside the uh, HTML code. So it will be cleaner and it will be much better for uh, accessibility in order to create something different for the website. Because if you go into the code, you will see now that we have here this section and this is great. So that was the video, guys. This is only for you to see how I'm used to work and why I needed that update in order to create some content, some websites using bricks. This is something that I was waiting for. Of course, there are many things that I would like also to see, but this is something crucial to me and I would like to have it uh, in the previous versions as well. If you have any questions, add that in the comment below. If you want to see another video for bricks or something different, uh, add those in the comments as well. I'm always uh, answering to every comment if I can, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.